Hello Peachies! Welcome back to Dear Peachy. You know that the first question hairdressers always ask, How do you like to wear your part? It's funny, most of us haven't really thought much about it. We usually go for either a middle or side part, and our hair seems to know where to go after every wash, like it's on autopilot or something. It took a viral TikTok debate for many of us to pause and really consider our hair parting. You've probably noticed the huge obsession these days with the middle part. Gen Z seems to swear by it as the only right way to style your hair. But hey, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Some of us adore the middle part, while others find it tough to rock and prefer sticking to their trusty side part. So which sides are you taking? Are you team middle or team side? In today's video, we're diving into the debate to figure out what makes someone a great fit for either the middle or side part. Plus, we've got some tips on how to switch up your hair parting game, no matter which side you lean towards. Nailing the sleek center part hairstyle can be a bit of a challenge for most of us. But whether it's on the red carpet or during a casual hangout with friends, Kendall Jenner effortlessly rocks this look. She embodies the quintessential supermodel vibe, glamorous yet maintaining that touch of simplicity and grandeur. Honestly, handling this hairstyle is really quite tricky. A little twitch can instantly change how we look. So, who exactly is suitable for the center part? Let's start by discussing the most bothersome aspect of these sleek center part hairstyles. Many of us know center parting highlights the symmetry and angularity of our face shape. And having a center parting, hair lying flat against our scalp kind of exposes our head shape. However, one of the less known ways to rocking a perfect middle parting hairstyle is having a balanced proportions between our face and head. In Chinese beauty discussions, there's a saying, to bao lian, which directly translates to head wrapping a face. Achieving the right balance between the size of your head and your face can really amp up your photogenic appeal. To put in more understandable terms, this balance can create the head framing face effect, where your head or your hair is hugging or wrapping around your face, making your face look smaller, and this gives more depth and dimension to your overall visual. The imbalance of this proportion tends to create that the face dominates everything effect, essentially making your face appear flatter, larger, and lacking dimension. This concept of head framing face can be observed in artistic techniques too. In drawing human portraits, artists typically start with a rounded circle for the head, ensuring proportional connections with the jaw and chin. The subsequent sketching of hair outside this rounded structure emphasizes the desired ideal proportion, where the head naturally complements and encases the face, creating a visually pleasing impression that highlights the harmony between facial features and head shape. A full and well-balanced head shape plays a pivotal role, and we can examine it from three perspectives. Firstly, focusing on the height of the cranial top, having a high cranial top is a significant advantage for pulling off a center part. If you have watched our previous video, you've probably known what defines a high cranial top, when the distance from the eyebrows to the hairline aligns proportionally with the distance from the hairline to the top of the head, approaching a one-to-one -one ratio, it indicates a high cranial top. A high cranial top indeed produces that visually smaller face effect. Moreover, it enhances the prominence of the proportion of the head visually, as compared to the face, creating a lengthened appearance when seen from the front and directs the visual focus upward. On the other hand, when the cranial top is low or the hairline is high, it reduces the visual presence of the head, directing attention toward the face instead. Choosing a center part hairstyle that hugs the scalp in these situations, this imbalance can easily overshadow your facial features, which mask away their beauty. The second aspect involves the horizontal fullness of the head shape when seen from the front, specifically the distance from the edge of the hairline to the temple region. When this region appears fuller, it diverts the visual attention to the entire head and face, therefore reducing the perception of having blank spaces on the face. This can result in the impression of the ears being more forward and the facial features converging towards the center of the face, achieving a forward projection effect. The width and volume of this area play a crucial role in achieving a sleek hairstyle. Previously, Jenny's iconic hairpin hairstyle made waves, and some celebrities attempted to imitate it, but only to find it didn't quite suit them. The reason was actually the lack of width in this section, Consequently, the hairpin couldn't create that horizontal spread when placed there. If you have less volume in this region and your ears seem set further back, avoid tying your hair too tightly. 
Tight tying could easily flatten and make it look dimensionless, and can cause your facial features to spread outward. When it comes to head shape, having these two characteristics definitely makes it structurally easier to rock those sleek center part hairstyles. Now, some might feel a bit daunted by this, but hey, let's remember that this is how we're born, and there's really no need to fret or feel insecure. Understanding ourselves can actually guide us toward exploring alternatives and elevating our styles in the best way possible. There are several factors that influence how we appear with center parting hairstyles, as it always has to do with our face shape. Center parting accentuates our face shape by closely hugging the scalp, revealing the clear contours and structure of our facial bones. This can be a double-edged sword for some. If you adore your chiseled cheekbones or want to emphasize the smooth outline of your facial contour, a center parting can truly maximize your beauty depending on how you wish to showcase those features. Conversely, if you prefer a softer and more rounded appearance, center parting might not be the best option for those with more prominent and protruding facial contours. Face shape with a balanced length to width ratio, such as oval or heart-shaped face, really helps pull off center parting hairstyles. For those seeking a more mature look, a center part on a round face might appear more ingenue and cute, making a side part a better choice. On the flip side, a center part might enhance the sharpness or the angularity of a square, triangle or rectangular face. In this case, opting for bangs or a side part offers a softer appeal. Let's take a closer look at this detail. Consider these two images as examples. Just based on their face shapes, who do you think, Chloe or Ariel, would rock a center part better? When the hairstyle hugs the scalp, the upper half of the face appears narrower. If you closely observe Chloe's facial structure, she has a heart-shaped face, and you can notice a tendency for the lower part of her face to taper inward. Therefore, face shapes with narrower lower faces, like oval, heart-shaped, or diamond faces, tend to visually balance well with the center part. When the hairstyle sits close to the scalp, narrowing the upper half of the face, these face shapes keeps the overall appearance light and sleek. Having covered structural aspects like head and face shapes, let's delve into something more vital. Facial proportions. The center part is a timeless classic, epitomizing elegance and grace. It pairs exceptionally well with symmetrical facial features. When you're less confident about your facial asymmetry, a center part will emphasize this by creating a line to separate your face into halves. In this case, side partings with bangs will work well for you. As an example, Han Sohee's left side of her face has a longer proportion than her right side. For her, side bangs are always a better choice. For beauties who are less confident with their asymmetrical or uneven faces, we made a video which talks about makeup and hairstyling tips to accentuate your beauty and boost your confidence. The link is right up here. Coming back to hair parting and facial proportion. The ideal facial proportion includes a harmonious balance across the horizontal thirds. People with harmonious balance of the horizontal thirds, generally radiating a composed, serene and enduring charm. Center parting is able to enhance this charm to create a visually pleasing effect. Besides that, with the longer middle third, middle parting also contributes an added sense of composure to the refined foundation of the facial features. Matching with a center parting hairstyle, it exudes a strong feminine aura. Center part sleek hairstyles, as we discussed earlier, draw more attention to the face, highlighting and maximizing the beauty of prominent facial features as they occupy a higher proportion of the face. Facial dimensionality plays a pivotal role here. A straight and prominent nose bridge enhances the face's overall depth, resulting in a more striking appearance. These hairstyles tend to accentuate the sharpness of facial features, creating a forward projection effect that enhances the face's visual impact. If your facial features are more delicate and less prominent, opting out of the middle parting with sleek or straight hairstyle might be a better choice. Instead, consider hairstyles that sculpt external contours, emphasizing a graceful and soft allure that truly highlights your beauty. Both Kim Go Yoon and Hyo Jin have delicate features, their nose bridge are less prominent, which creates more spaces in the mid-face region. The center parting that fully exposes their face shape might not be the best fit to showcase their beauty. At this point, we bet that many of you might feel like giving up on the center part hairstyle forever. Don't worry, there are ways to adapt this hairstyle to suit our unique features. 
In the earlier discussion, we highlighted the importance of a head shape that adheres to aesthetic ratios, appearing attractive from both frontal and lateral perspectives, with an adequate cranial height and suitable fullness at the sides. For most of us, when opting for a center part hairstyle, the trick lies in skillfully enhancing the width and height of the hair to recreate the desired head framing face effect within those golden proportions. This trick is to create a sense of airiness and volume at the crown and sides. Instead of letting your hair lie flat against your scalp, employing techniques like a zigzag part or using a curling iron can create volume at the crown. The zigzag hair parting is achieved by using a comb with a pointed end. Many of you may already be familiar with the zigzag parting technique, gently slide the pointed end in a zigzag motion along your hairline, and voila! However, for some, this technique may not provide the desired increase in hair volume. This could be due to a naturally wide hairline or insufficient hair to cover the scalp and create a more voluminous look. To address this, consider parting a new hairline just 0.5mm away from your usual hairline. Then, slide through with a zigzag pattern along the new hairline, ensuring a tight tracing to generate more volume. It's crucial to control the width of the zigzag, overly wide patterns don't achieve the volumizing effect and can look unnatural. This quick and easy trick takes just 2 minutes and transforms your hair, giving it a completely new and voluminous look. You can also opt for the fluffy bangs hair clip to achieve this effect too. Section the front part of your hair and clip the fluffy bangs curl clip to the roots. Roll up the hair on the velcro to secure it in place on your head. Continue by sectioning the remaining hair underneath, gathering it with the hair at the top of your head. Repeat the process by clipping the fluffy bangs clip to the roots and gently pulling to roll the hair on top of the velcro. Apply some heat from a blow dryer to set the volume. With that, your hair will look instantly voluminous. Besides that, you can use bump up hair clips or curling iron in achieving the volume for your cranial top. We have made a video precisely on this topic before so be sure to check out our previous video to know more. The link is right up here. So, should we constantly focus on increasing the height of our cranial top only? Not exactly. Overemphasizing the cranial top can lead to an uneven head shape, resulting in a sharper, heavier top with less volume on the sides. This might give the appearance of a pointed head rather than a balanced shape. Additionally, it could create the illusion of a narrow head and a broader face making the head seem elongated and the face larger. Apart from using a curling iron or straightener to add volume at the roots, consider hair extensions as an alternative that requires less time, minimizes heat damage, and offers various length options. Short extensions are highly recommended on the Chinese platforms like Xiao Hung Shu, it works wonders in enhancing side hair volume. These extensions are strategically placed along the hairline by flipping hair around the temple region, securing the extensions, and then releasing the rest of your hair to cover them. This technique is a well-kept secret in achieving hairstyles akin to K-pop idols. On the other hand, for overall increased volume, longer extensions matching your hair color can be used. By securing these extensions around the sides near the temple and the back of your head, you can effortlessly achieve a fuller look and a more balanced head shape. Hair accessories, particularly padded or embellished headbands, play a significant role in balancing head shape and facial proportions. These accessories can add volume to the cranial top, providing a more distinct and rounded shape to your head. We've covered detailed tips on selecting the perfect headband for various face shapes in a dedicated video. Feel free to check out the video to explore more about choosing the ideal headband that complements your face shape. Now, we've talked about who can rock a middle parting and the ways to enhance your look with simple tricks. But what about side parting? Could there be instances where side parting doesn't quite suit our individual beauty? Let's explore this aspect here. The impact of a side part largely depends on the shape of your hairline. There are four common hairline shapes, rounded, heart-shaped, square, and irregular. Simplifying these, we can categorize them into two groups, those with smoother, rounder edges and those with defined edges or recesses in the hairline. For instance, a hairline with irregular shape or a square shape often presents corners or angles around the forehead sides. In certain instances, it might even have recessed or thinning areas near the temples, creating a sunken appearance. However, these conditions are less common in heart-shaped and rounded hairlines. 
Here are a few tips to find your best side parting based on the shape of your hairline. If you have a square or irregular shaped hairline, it's crucial to avoid parting directly at the corners or edges of your hairline. Doing so might emphasize a bald spot near the edge of your forehead. By parting at these spots, our focus is drawn to this area, highlighting its prominence. Moreover, continuously parting at these corners can worsen hair thinning in that region. Therefore, consider changing the part to the opposite side to encourage hair growth. Take Oyang Nana, for instance, who has an irregular shaped hairline with noticeable edges. Interestingly, these edges are positioned more inward. So, even when she ties her hair up in a ponytail or bun, it doesn't overly emphasize a prominent forehead. Besides that, how she parts her hair is incredibly clever. When she wears her hair down, she definitely avoids parting right at the swirl around the corners of her hairline. If you have a similar hairline like hers, you should steal some styling tips from her. Additionally, the hair around the temple area tends to be thinner, creating the appearance of a recessed or sunken hairline. Therefore, it's crucial to be cautious when opting for a deep side part. When styling with a deeper side parting, there's a risk of exposing this thinner area. As most of the hair is directed to one side, it can create the optical illusion that the entire forehead region lacks hair, despite you having plenty of hair there. This illusion can significantly reduce volume in this area, contributing to the appearance of a bald spot. With that being said, it is perfectly fine if you would still like to opt for a side parting, even if you encounter these issues. Remember, this is merely a styling guide, not a strict rule. To address this concern, you can start by ensuring the roots at the hairline have enough volume and don't lie flat against your scalp. This creates the perfect foundation for a fuller, more voluminous look. You can achieve this by separating the front sections of your hair, revealing more of your forehead for a lighter appearance. Afterwards, style the less voluminous temple region by parting it to the opposite side. You can use a curling iron or bumped up hair clips to add volume, diverting attention from any sparse areas and preventing the appearance of a bald spot. The second technique involves collecting hair from the back and having your hairstylist cut it in a textured or layered style to fill up this recessed area. This aims to mimic the appearance of baby hairs, providing a softer, more rounded look to your hairline. However, despite this adjustment, natural elements like wind or humidity might disrupt the styled hair. Thus, using hair styling gel and wax becomes essential to ensure it stays in place. Previously, we discussed the importance of having a fuller and more rounded head shape, especially focusing on adding volume to the temples on both sides. When the temples seem sunken, it tends to give the impression of a sharper head shape. To solve this, it's essential to create volume on the sides of the temple region to widen its horizontal width. In practical scenarios, using styling products like sprays or curling irons might not always be feasible, particularly during rush hours or when time is limited. Even adding extensions or accessories might be too much work. In such situations, opting for a side part can be a great solution. However, it's wise to avoid a 6-4 to four side parting as it doesn't contribute to balancing the overall hair volume with the pointed head shape. A 6-4 to four parting, much like the center part, emphasizes symmetry and angularity, and the more symmetrical it is, the more pronounced a pointed top becomes. Additionally, when the hair is styled to curl inward towards the ends, creating a visual impression of a wider lower portion, it contrasts sharply with the narrower top, further highlighting the pointed appearance. On the contrary, a deep side part like 7-3 or 8-2 side parting adds volume to one side, diminishing the exaggerated pointed look. However, here's a friendly heads up for those dealing with similar concerns and have fine, soft hair, a deep side part might not be the best choice. Opt for a 6, 4 parting instead and avoid a 7 to 3 or 8 to 2 parting. This parting ratio can address both issues, giving your hair more volume to create a rounder head shape while preventing it from appearing too thin. Focus on styling the hair around the 4 section to create more volume, aiming for a rounder head shape. Now, we all know that the zigzag parting technique is a clever way to accentuate our proportions when we are going for middle parting hairstyle. For side parting, you should always go for the C-shape parting. You can create this effect by starting the hair part from the center of the forehead, using a pointed tail comb to diagonally sweep the hair backward. As you reach the crown's highest point, guide the part toward the left or right, forming a C-shape pattern. 
This parting style helps elongate our face shape by adding more volume to the crown and lends a fuller, fluffier appearance. Before we come to the end today, we hope that this video can give you some ideas on finding the best hair parting for your look. And don't let fixed ideas limit your choices. Our hair may not grow at our command, but your style is yours to mold. None of us start out perfect, but every small tweak brings us closer to our ideal look. Remember, beauty isn't just in what we're born with, but in how we harness our uniqueness. So, explore, experiment, and own your style journey. Because it's not just about hair, it's about accepting and owning who you are. Comment down below to let us know if the middle or side parting suits you more. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye.